Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. Most of today's multiplayer games include a voice over IP system that allows players to talk to each other, which can help a lot to get some teamwork done on public servers where you mostly play with a lot of strangers. But when you play with your friends or when you are part of a clan or a larger community, then you usually use a third party voice over IP client instead of the game's voice over IP system. So after about 20 hours of testing, we will take a look at many different voice over IP clients to find out which offers the shortest audio delay. Now there are clients which claim to provide you with a lag free experience, which is really just a marketing talking because every form of online communication is affected by latency. So let's assume that we have two users who are connected to the same voice over IP server. The user on the left has a ping of 100 milliseconds to that server and the user on the right has a ping of 300 milliseconds to the server. This means that a data packet sent by the user on the left needs 50 milliseconds to reach that server and then another 150 milliseconds to get to the user on the right. So the travel time of the data results in a delay or lag of 200 milliseconds and there's nothing that we can do about that as this is a product of the physical distance between the server and these users. So since we cannot do anything about the network lag, we obviously want that the voice over IP software we use adds as little additional delay as possible. So let's have a look at how much they add. Of all the voice over IP clients I tested, Steam added the most delay on top of the network lag. Also Steam does not appear to use dedicated voice over IP servers and instead connects the clients directly, which also means that you see the IP address of the person you talk to. Origin on the other hand uses dedicated voice over IP servers and does not reveal the IP address of the user you are talking to. However, it adds an additional 332 milliseconds of lag, which is quite a lot. With 280 milliseconds of additional lag, Curse gets into an area where the audio lag is not disruptive for the communication, at least as long as every user has a network latency of less than 100 milliseconds. Then we have TeamSpeak with two of the three codecs it supports. I tested them with quality settings of 5 and 10 and there was no real difference. So it seems that the quality setting of the codecs does not have any effect on the additional audio delay. Then we got Mumble where the low preset adds an additional audio delay of 229 milliseconds on average. Opus Voice gives us 218 milliseconds of additional lag in TeamSpeak and then we have Skype where I measured an additional 215 milliseconds of lag on average. The only applications where I measured an average additional audio lag of less than 150 milliseconds are Discord and Mumble with the high preset. So these are the fastest and most responsive tools of this test. At least as long as everyone uses the PC client software. But what happens when you talk to someone who is using a mobile app? So there is an app for Steam, but it does not include voice chat and Origin does not even have a mobile app, so I cannot provide you with any results for these two. Now, when you use the PC client of Curse and then talk to someone who uses the mobile app, then this doubles the additional audio lag, which means that you can very clearly notice the delay when you talk to someone who uses the mobile app. TeamSpeak's mobile app on the other hand increases the additional audio delay by about 100 milliseconds, while in Skype it's just a bit more than 20 milliseconds on average. Now, this caught at one of the best results when I tested the desktop clients. But sadly I cannot say the same about its mobile app, because in my test it increased the additional audio lag by more than 700 milliseconds, which is the worst result of all the apps I tested. The additional audio lag of Mumble's inofficial mobile app is about 160 milliseconds higher than what we get inside its desktop client, which means that it is a little bit faster than TeamSpeak's mobile app. So when it comes to mobile then Skype shows the other apps what is possible as it provides the most responsive communication of all the apps I tested. So when we look at the PC clients then Mumble and Discord add the least additional delay to your audio. However this does not mean that these are also automatically the best voice over IP clients for everyone. Which one works best for you really depends on what you need. All of these voice over IP solutions have different pros and cons so you should really try them out and then decide which one is the best for you. If you like this kind of content where I take a look at the networking of games and other gaming related software like voice over IP clients, then you can help me cover the production costs by becoming one of my patrons over at patreon.com, as that ensures that I can continue to provide you with that kind of content. You can find the link to my Patreon page in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.